Hello everyone, Russell Ride from ThemeZoom.com and this is a sneak peek tutorial video that is a piece of the one feed to rule them all perpetual lead magnet machine system. For those of you who are interested in how to get a single unifying feed to organize all of your updates, um, we do reveal that only in a live event situation and I'm going, but I am allowed to review uh, reveal certain pieces and parts and how that works and hopefully these will be of benefit to you. This is my personal profile page. Um, I don't recommend using anything other than a photograph. I've simply covered up my photograph because this is a professional video and I don't really want to reveal my personal profile. Now if you go to your profile section you can surf Facebook as any one of your fan pages just use Facebook as fan page and you can switch here. You can see I'm actually managing a couple of different fan pages. Now what I'd like to do is show you a really cool application that is a part of the one feed to rule them all system. It's called RSS Graffiti. RSS Graffiti is a, a wonderful application and there are several other ones you could use to provide you with this same function. Um, notice that I am in, I am not in secure Facebook browsing mode at this point and it's best to edit this particular software when you're not in secure Facebook browsing mode. It's a great application. They've done a great job of integrating it. And you can see here are all of the, some of the fan pages that I've managed for other clients. And what I'm going to do is show you uh, how do we set it up on ThemeZoom. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just click on the particular page you would like to add the feed to. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and click the Add Feed function. When you're ready to add the feed, you're going to put the feed URL right here. Now, the trick is knowing how. I'm going to give you a sneak peek here. This is, again, stuff pretty much only revealed to live event students. Notice that this is a feed burner feed. Okay, that is something just to, you know, take notes. I'm giving you a lot of hints here. Um, in the one feed to rule them all system, you want to aggregate all of them carefully through a single feed system. Now for some of you that's no secret, but which feeds you actually stick together and how they're connected to your keywords and how they connect to Doma Domain Web Studio and your SEO uh, and how they actually convert into clicks and leads that are captured through Aweber forms or through opt-in forms, that is the trick. And that's where 99.9% .9 of people I've ever educated or taught on feeds and how it relates to SEO have failed or fallen down. They don't understand how to convert leads into actual sales. So I recommend using FeedBurner for several reasons. And when you stick your FeedBurner thing in here, you can just go ahead and look at your filters. Now, when you, that when you first put your feed into your graffiti system, you'll have the option, you can see this cutoff date is July 27th, General Mountain Time. That means anything on my feed at this point, after that point, will not get published. So people tend to get confused uh, when they look at their reader and they see that their cutoff date is, is different, you know, or they, they forget to look at their reader or they forget to change the RSS graffiti um, date. So you can change this to any date you want. If you want to publish old stuff, you can do that. It also gives the option to go back and select individual functional things okay to publish click refresh okay you can transform the post into anything that you want you can add a message if you want every time you can schedule every half an hour and again I'm not going to give you a catch-all time uh, amount to do this because it totally depends on what your one feed to rule them all system your lead machine is actually doing also depends what kind of product and service you have and how hungry your mar marketer audience is for your product so um, I'm going to start right now with uh, four times a day. Actually, I'm going to go twice a day for now until further notice. I have other feeds coming in, so um, there's a reason why I need it to be twice a day. But normally, I'll probably go up to four times a day. You've got to keep in mind that you don't want your audience to get tired of your stuff, and you don't want to be constantly spamming your wall with useless stuff. So the amount of time that you... The, num the number of times that you syndicate this feed to your Facebook fan page wall will depend on how excellent your content is and how good your headlines and how useful the topics are that you're providing. When we come back, I'll show you how this sets up and we'll get it put on the fan page and you'll see how that syndicates through.